Stella Ballerini, the owner and creative director of Scoozy Events. And this class is called, Stella, tell us the great name you came up with. Creativity Exposed. The unedited the edition. The unedited edition. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with some language coming up in this class. So what are we going to cover in this class today? We're going to cover of, uh, how you can be more creative and just the thinking process that we go through to give more of a wow for all of your events. And are you going to be able to give people tips on how they can make their office or their work environment more brainstorm friendly? Absolutely. Perfect. So what do we have first? So we're going to start by drinking outside of the box. Since every event starts off with a drink and any caterer can make a fabulous cocktail, um, you want to be a little bit different and serve things with a style of your own. So we don't necessarily go to the rental company for everything we need because we like to be more unique than the other caterers. And, purchase things and just show a presentation that that no one else can have just to set yourself apart so I purchased many many glasses from different places uh, the presentation is really important our motto at Scoozy is where's the wow and at every single event every tray that goes out every beverage every food that goes out we like to look at it and say where's the wow in this particular item so there are easy things that you can do uh, with your catering company it's as easy as fun glasses and no rental company has this sort of glass. Um, the stores love me because when I buy them, I usually buy about a thousand pieces at a time. So can I just jump in? So here you have the same, the same color theme, but if I can show, there's actually three different styles. And by mixing and matching them, you would send a tray out with all three styles on it. Absolutely. Okay. Um, anyone can do that. You just have to find the right place to purchase them and hopefully you get a good sell if you're buying thousands of pieces at a time. And do you find that it's more work to go out outside of the typical rental company to look for some of your products? It's a lot more work, but if you don't have effort, you don't have result. And that's the only way you can have result if you put in the extra effort. Anyone can pick up a phone, call the local catering, call the local rental company. Right. But again, we don't want any other caterer to have our style or have what we offer. So that's what sets us apart from other caterers as far as uh, the presentation. So you'll go out and look for glassware or presentation things that your food and beverage can be served in that they will never see exactly. from any other caterer. Exactly. Okay. It's a constant. It's an everyday part of our life. It's an everyday part of our event planner's life. It, it's what we do. Awesome. And what we love to do. So we have other simple presentations that you can use. These are not glasses. These are actually candle holders that we send out tasting portions of the specialty cocktail because with the tasting portion, people can have a chance to try uh, whatever we have on the menu and if they don't like it at least they're not stuck with a glass and the presentation is fun or they can try several different types of a specialty cocktail during the course of the night before they decide what is the actual cocktail that they like. Interesting. So once again you've, you've gone with three different styles here. You've got this sort of square one, the circles, and then you've got flowers. All seem to go together but would you suggest that that's a good way to have a little bit of a wow impact by mixing the kinds of glassware that you might send out? Absolutely, and it's also a way to differentiate if we have three different specialty cocktails on a tray that's a sampler, the waiter can offer and he knows. So it's easily identifiable for the waiter for what he's serving. So if you're in your office and you're saying to yourself, where is the wow? Yes. And I know you told me that you guys do that and you come up with a really creative cocktail, for example, you might see this displayed with glassware and think, I like the drink, but it's still not wow. Let's, let's go beyond glassware. Let's look in for votive candle holders. Exactly. So anything that's pretty that we can serve in, and especially if we're offering a new specialty cocktail that we're not sure if people love, we may all love it in our office and we may all try it on a Friday afternoon, but until we know the guest loves it, we don't want to serve large portions. Of it, So it's a great way to try something. It's a great way to try something new at an event that you may not want a full glass of. You may just want to taste something, especially for the guys that don't like the fruity cocktails. They may just want to taste something, you know, or at least try it, and that's a great way to try something new. Perfect. So, um, outside, so thinking outside the box and not feeling that you're stuck with what a rental company has in their inventory, going out and buying glassware, and then also not even feeling that you're stuck with glassware, to just think in terms of containers that might be able to hold your food and beverage products. And I know we're going to see some later that I would never have dreamed of putting anything edible in and you've been able to pull it. But I guess that all comes back to this, this sort of wow factor. And before we move on, do you, do you sort of look at your items and really, really think what is the, 
what's the impression going to be when somebody eats this or looks at it? And how important is that a driver of what you create in your menus? It's everything. It's absolutely 100% of what we do. We want people to be happy. We want them to have a lasting uh, impact on what they've had. And that's just going back so they can hire us again. So some of it is the, Darwin's theory, the survival of the fittest. Scusi's theory is the, most survival, the survival of the most creative. Uh, that's a great way to have repeat business in New York. You can't have repeat business if you do the same thing that other people do. It's New York. You can get anything you want. There are hundreds of very good caterers, and you need something that's going to set you apart. So it really what I'm, what I'm hearing, and I know we're going to come back to this a little bit later when you go into the tips of how you have a creative atmosphere in your office, is that you have a philosophy. It's really a whole, it's not one tactic or another tactic or another tactic. You've created this umbrella philosophy that everything we do has to be a big wow. Not just creative, but it's got to have a wow. And the wow really, to me, says what's the impact on the person who's going to see it, drink it, eat it, etc. And what I'm hearing is that if you have that philosophy, everything else kind of fits under that. That will force you to think outside the box with what you're going to get in terms of glassware or whether you're going to use glassware at all in the first place. Exactly. Well, one of the things we say in a brainstorming session is, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. It's great. And we don't settle for mediocrity. Okay. So if it's not great, we don't want to serve it because anyone can serve something good. So I have a husband that complains about all the purchases that I make and the thousands and thousands of glasses and eventually one day said, can't you come up with something that you don't need glasses for? And uh, just right. as a challenge, at that point we came up with our edible cocktail. So being ex Your edible cocktail. Our edible cocktail. It's an edible wow. margarita. So this is a solid, can I? Can yes, I you sure one? can. This is a solid form of a margarita? Yes, And how is. do you make this? into something solid. Well, we can't right, tell. Here goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a margarita. It's like a jello margarita. And it's all about the details. That's, that's lime zest on top. Okay. And it's been sprinkled with a little sea salt. On the bottom, that's salt. And these are the components of the margarita that we're serving it on. So there's the salt, there's the lime, and there's the actual cocktail. Interesting. So how did you get the inspiration to, to come up with this? Because this, this looks amazing, and I've never really seen alcohol presented like that. It's a gourmet version of a jello shot. Oh, um, jello shot. Yeah, take it but a But a jello shot would, it, it comes across in a different kind of connotation. You think of like a fraternity party exactly. for a jello shot. And we do high-end catering. We have high-end clients, so we had to come up with a more fun presentation. Again, we always like to say expect the unexpected and just offer this client something that's a little bit more unique and different. Wow. And you'll actually see lawyers, doctors, people from every profession popping their jello shots. Yeah, <laughs> this is terrific.